This guide describes how you can automate your Android deployment process with Bitrise. Whether you wish to export your app to bitrise.io or straight to the Google Play Store, we have dedicated steps for both processes to curb any manual effort. In this video, we'll show you two deployments, one to bitrise.io and the other to Google Play Store. Deploying to bitrise.io means exporting artifacts or builds to bitrise.io and sharing it with stakeholders. Deploying it to the Google Play Store, not surprisingly, means publishing your app to the Google Play Store. Let's start with deploying to bitrise.io. Our deploy to bitrise.io apps, logs and artifacts step is responsible for attaching all of your generated artifacts to your build and uploading them to the apps and artifacts tab on your builds page. The step has an input called enable public page for the app, which is by default set to true. This way, once a build is run, a public install page gets created with a long and random URL so that anyone who gets the URL can install the app on their own device. You can notify user groups or individual users that your APK file has been built by specifying roles such as tester, developer or admin in the notify user roles input. You can then share the app's public install page with anyone if you set their email addresses in the notify emails input field. Make sure you set those email addresses as secret environment variables though. These details can also be modified under the notifications if you click the eye icon next to the generated APK file in the apps and artifacts tab. Here, you can check the URL by clicking the open public install page. And lastly, if you click a watch icon above the start or schedule build purple button on your builds page, you can get a notification email about a successful or failed build. Let's move on to the star of today's video, which is deploying to the Google Play Store. We have a dedicated step that performs this very action called deploy to Google Play. Before we jump into configuring the step, please make sure you have performed the following tasks, which I'll go through really quickly. Check that you have uploaded the first APK or AAB manually to Google Play using the Google Play console. Check that you've linked your Google Play developer console to the API project. Check that you've set up your API access clients using a service account and that you've granted the necessary rights to the service account with your Google Play console. And optionally, added translations to your store listing. If you wish to read up more on these, please head over to our Dev Center guide. Okay, now that we have these preparations out of the way, let's see what to configure on Bitrise. Select your workflow for deployment. First, make sure all code signing files are uploaded and metadata is filled out. We will discuss how to upload the key store and the service account JSON key. Now, click the code signing tab. Drag and drop your key store file to the Android key store file field. Fill out the key store password, key store alias, and the private key password fields and click save metadata. With this information added to your code sign-in tab, our Android sign step will take care of signing your APK so that it's ready for distribution. Next, upload the service account JSON key into the generic file storage on the code sign-in tab. Now, go back to the workflow editor and add deploy to Google Play step to the end of your workflow. Next, we need to fill out the required input fields, which I'll go through here. The first one, which is service account JSON key file path. This field can accept a remote URL, so you have to provide the environment which contains your uploaded service account JSON key. Next, the package name, and this is the package name of your Android app. And lastly, track, the track where you want to deploy your app. For example, this can be internal, alpha, beta, production, or any custom track that you set. Afterwards, you can use the Play Console user interface to promote apps to other tracks. For example, an app uploaded to the internal testing can be released on the alpha track. Your workflow is now ready for deploying your app automatically to the Google Play Store. All that's left to do is to start a build based on your newly configured deployment workflow. If you wish to enhance your deployment game even more, check out our link to the Deploying with Ship Guide in the description box. Don't forget to leave us a comment or like this video and let us know what our next tutorial should be. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.